The Daojin Sangxiang area is one of Shanxi province's top 21 attractions. It is located in the Tongchuan Yaozhou district, which has a long history, as it is located not far from Xi'an. The Daojin Sangxiang area has become a popular destination for locals and tourists. CNWest.com reported that the Shanxi province's first Danxia Jiu Park, Daojin Sangxiang scenic area, has now opened to the public. There are many different things to see and do here. You can immerse yourself in the Buddha culture, visit the revolutionary sites, explore beautiful temples and pavilions, as well as enjoy the natural beauty of the area. Let's look at two places in detail, the Zhaojin Revolution Museum and the Xiangxiang Buddhist Temple Scenic Area. The Zhaojin Revolution Museum is located in the Zhaojin County. This area is a classical Danxia landform with rolling peaks and crisscross gullies. During the Cultural Revolution, Zhaojin made a huge contribution to the victory of the revolution. It established the first mountain revolutionary base and led a series of communist party, government and military activities and set up the 26th Army of the Red Army. The Zhaojin Revolution Museum has a large collection of revolutionary relics, over 120 pieces of literature and shows the creation, development and struggle of the 1930s Zhaojin Revolutionary base areas during the Cultural Revolution. The Shanxiang Buddhist Temple scenic area is the 8th largest Buddhist region in the country and one of the three great monasteries in the province. With over 1,600 years of history, on the hills you'll find a community of Buddhist buildings including temples, pagodas, shrines and monasteries. The anniversary temple fair will be held on March 15th and October 15th. Okay, next up, let's take a look at what's making headlines in Shanxi News. Xi'an City plans to develop the water channels in the city within eight years with the goal of increasing the protection of water, division of water and flood control. The government has invested 285.43 billion renminbi into the project. The Afang Palace Park is set to become a free entry public city park. In the park, there will also be museums and exhibition centers, some of which may require an admission fee. Luas Dwellings Folk Culture High End Seminars just took place in Shanxi Province's Xi'an City on the 22nd of January. Members from the United Nations and cultural experts from over 50 provinces took part in the conference. Talks and discussions were made to provide a platform for research, development, and protection of the Luas Dwellings. The 17th Investment and Trade Forum for Cooperation between East and West China will be held in April this year. The fair has opened its applications for exhibitors. The business fair is set to include around 300 exhibitors promoting their businesses. Hanzhong City has started construction for its new airport terminal. Current construction is going smoothly and is set to be complete by August this year. Well, that's it for today. If you've enjoyed our show, remember to catch us here every day on Blue Ocean Network. For more information, please visit BON.TV. I'm Aaron Stadlin-Roby. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.